Welcome to News Today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Eric Morton, and here's the news for October 22nd, 2020. Universal Orlando's cinematic celebration nighttime spectacular is currently slated for an October 24th showing per the Universal Resort show calendar. This would mark the return of nighttime spectaculars to even more of the major Central Florida theme parks. Universal Orlando describes the spectacular as an epic show with a colossal celebration of music, water, and light that transforms the park and takes you into the movies like never before. The show takes place within the central lagoon of Universal Studios Florida with dedicated viewing along the Central Park grass. As music from the world's biggest films fills the air, scores of shining, dancing fountains erupt, massive walls of water blaze with incredible movie moments, and powerful projections bring the entire waterfront into the movies. You'll see and hear roaring dinosaurs from Jurassic World, feel the adrenaline rush of high-speed cars from Fast and Furious, watch the mischievous antics of minions from Despicable Me, and so much more. Do note that while the showtime is listed, the main page for the nighttime spectacular still states temporarily unavailable. However, with park hour extensions, it's certainly a possibility that we will see this on the 24th. Universal Studios Florida has extended their hours this upcoming Saturday and Sunday, with the park now opening at 8 o'clock a.m. and closing at 10 o'clock p.m. Islands of Adventure will open at 8 a.m. on both days and close at 10 p.m. on Sunday. So far, this change is only in effect for this upcoming weekend. This is likely in response to the parks reaching capacity twice this past weekend and the weekend before amidst their popular Halloween offerings. These extensions also signal the possibility of the return of nighttime spectaculars to the resort, as we said, with the uh, Universal Orlando's cinematic celebration scheduled for a nighttime showing on Saturday. There is good news for guests looking to pick up cool props from the Williams of Hollywood Prop Shop. The popular shop has reopened and it is offering half-off deals on many items. Even better, the Universal Studios Florida re retail location is open to all guests. It was originally looking like it would only be open to Universal Orlando annual pass holders. The shop was open uh, on October 17th and 18th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, and we expect it to be open on weekends moving forward. A new Harry Potter button and map as part of their exclusive November perks. The button has uh, the incantation uh, medi Mediologinx, Mediologinx uh, with a hand holding an umbrella with rain falling beneath the umbrella. Mediologinx is a weather altering charm in the Harry Potter universe, as everybody but me knows apparently. Uh, guests can cast the charm in the wizarding world of Harry Potter Diagon Alley with an interactive wand to make rain fall from an umbrella that is near Gringotts. In addition to the button, animal, annual pass holders can get an exclusive new map designed by House of uh, Mina Lima. Universal describes the map like this. Uh, Explore the wizarding world of Harry Potter at Universal Orlando Resort. This brand new map features Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure and was designed by House of Mina Lima, the design studio behind the graphic props of the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast films. Both the button and map will be available beginning November 1st, 2020, while supplies last. Guests can pick up both in the UOAP lounge in Universal Studios Florida from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The button will also be available in Tune Extra in Universal's Islands of Adventure during normal operating hours. Each pass holder is allowed one button and one map. As I said earlier, Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure both reached capacity before noon on October 17th and 18th. The parking garages closed to additional guests, but guests who were staying at Universal Orlando Resort Hotels and guests with single-day dated tickets were still able to access the parks. This was the second consecutive weekend that the theme parks have reached full capacity. We thought the prior weekend's crowds were likely due to the extended Columbus Day holiday weekend, but it appears that a normal weekend is enough to draw a capacity crowd right now, too. While Universal Studios Florida keeps the Halloween spirit alive, over at Islands of Adventure, they're preparing for Christmas. Decorations have arrived at Port of Entry and Seuss Landing. Garland lines the overhangs at the entrance of the park. Uh, Islands of Adventure Trading Company is also decked out in garland and a wreath. Each building has somewhat different garland to match their theming. Over in Seuss Landing, uh, Christmas is just about in full swing. 
There are even some reindeer, uh, yeah, quote, reindeer dressed up for the holidays. Everywhere you look, there's garland filled uh, with colorful, colorful baubles. Lamp posts and characters have been decked out in bows. The one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish sign is covered in red tinsel. And it looks really nice. To see images of these festive decorations and more, head on over to our site. Another way to celebrate Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando Resort uh, has just screamed for attention. We slipped over to Swizzle Lounge at Universal's Cabana Beach Resort to taste two cocktails that pay tribute to past icons from Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, we present you the director and the chance. These beverages may be available at every hotel bar at Universal Orlando Resort, but we chose to make our way to Sizzle. Uh, <laughs> we chose to make our way to Swizzle Lounge. Uh, to read our full review, head on over to our site. We might not have a Mario Cafe here in Orlando, but you can still get a little taste of Super Nintendo at the uh, Universal Orlando Resort with the new Super Mario birthday cake batter bash that's the super mario birthday cake batter bash say that five times fast cold stone creamery uh, located in city walk is now serving up a shake and sundae themed to super mario it's a hot day and we've been jealous of our friends over in japan so uh, why not uh, go grab a sundae and level up our day head over to our site and read the full review Universal City Walk has teamed up with the Los Angeles County Registrar, Recorder, uh, and County Clerk to be an official voting location for the 2020 general election. In-person voting begins on Saturday, October 24th, and lasts through Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. Voters can also return their mail-in ballot in person at the Vote Center in Universal City Walk. Self-parking will be free to all visitors during the voting period. The Vote Center will be in the Jurassic parking structure, uh, sorry, the Jurassic parking structure, I almost said the Jurassic Park parking structure, all, voter, all voters will be required to wear face coverings. From October 24th through November 2nd, voting will be from 10 o'clock a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. On Election Day, November 3rd, voting will be from 7 o'clock a.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. Universal City Walk is otherwise open daily from 12 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. Note, this is for L.A. County residents only. In a news conference held by NBC LA, theme park leaders from Disneyland Resort, uh, Universal Studios Hollywood, Legoland, and more responded to Governor Gavin Newsom's guidelines, stating that it's unfair to keep large theme parks closed for the foreseeable future. In response, Universal Studios Hollywood president Karen Irwin stated that the park is exploring reopening with food and retail only. Los Angeles County is among the most impacted in the state, still in a purple widespread tier, making a full-fledged reopening of Universal Studios Hollywood nearly impossible until sometime in 2021. Considering that the requirements for large theme parks to reopen state that the county must be in the yellow minimal tier. Her letter begins, pushing us into tier four behind other businesses that have already reopened makes no sense. It ignores science, reason and the economic devastation this will bring to the thousands of our employees, the indirect businesses that rely on us, and our industry overall. The health and safety of our guests and team members has always been our top priority. We have designed detailed health and safety protocols that allowed us to open our theme parks in Orlando, Osaka, and Singapore. We have collaborated with LA County health and government officials on a comprehensive plan to move forward safely here, and we are prepared and ready to reopen. Our theme parks are controlled, primarily outdoor businesses that we have proven we can operate responsibly. Uh, Karen Irwin, president and CEO of Universal Studios Hollywood. When Universal Studios Japan started selling themed masks back in August, notably absent were the Hogwarts house-themed masks seen at Universal Orlando Resort and in Hollywood as well. Well, it seems Universal Studios Japan is getting the message because a Gryffindor mask is now on sale at the park. The mask itself features crimson and gold stripes along with the lion icon and the word Gryffindor in all caps across the front. You can find these masks and show your house pride at Rodeo Drive Souvenirs, as well as merchandise carts across the park for 900 yen or $8.54 American. While we all anxiously await the opening of Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Japan in spring of 2021, Universal Studios Japan has announced some exciting news via their email newsletter. 
annual pass holders will be eligible to enter a preview lottery for Super Nintendo World ahead of its opening next spring. While details surrounding entry method, number of winners, and dates will be announced at a later date, all Universal Studios Japan annual pass holders will be eligible for this exciting opportunity. Be sure to stay tuned to Universal Parks News today for the latest information regarding this lottery and about Super Nintendo World itself. Super Nintendo World is currently scheduled to open in spring of 2021. We previously got a look at the upcoming Universal Beijing Resort City Walk, uh, some of the park's Jurassic World Isla Nublar land, and a new subway station. Now Universal has released a video featuring beautiful new concept art for attractions that will be the brand new theme park itself. Universal Studios Beijing's lands will be Kung Fu Panda Land of Awesomeness, Hollywood, Water World, Transformers Metro Base, Minion Land, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and Jurassic World Isla Nublar. To view all the details and videos, head over to our site. And now for your Mask Minute. I know you missed it last week. Uh, though Halloween Horror Nights is not happening in its entirety at Universal Studios Florida this year, guests can celebrate the event with themed face masks now 30% off. The masks include the Jack face mask and uh, masks with the event's logo. The coverings are usually $8 each, but are $5.60 after the discount. Man, these mask prices are starting to get pretty hard to keep up with. Uh, Akio face mask. You uh, won't have to board the Hogwarts Express for these uh, chocolate frogs. You can now get them on a new face mask design at Universal Orlando Resort. Watch out for jumping frogs, warns this all-new face mask, themed to the popular chocolate candy sold in the Harry Potter films and within the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at the Universal Orlando Resort. Uh, the purple mask features gold letters and starry accents along with a chocolate frog logo and, of course, a chocolate frog leaping across the front of the mask. Uh, for now, we found the mask at the CityWalk parking garage store kiosk, and it's available for $8 in medium and large sizes. Man, <laughs> we're going to need a bigger boat to store all of these face masks. Just added to the Universal Studios Florida Retro Collection is this new set of face masks, one theme to all the classic and extinct attractions like Earthquake, the big one, uh, Kong Frontation, and E.T. Adventure, and another theme to Jaws. We found both face masks at the CityWalk Parking Garage store uh, for $8 each, or three for $20, with sizes available in both medium and large. Miniature model kits are a great way to spend a rainy afternoon, and we have just come across a set of adorable new build-your-own sets which are perfect for any fans of the Universal Parks. These Universal Studios exclusive kits by Metal Earth come in four distinctly Universal designs. The Universal Globe, the USF Entrance Arch, the Despicable Me Minions, and the Jaws Hanging Shark. The model kits retail for $25 each. We found them in Universal Studios store at Universal Studios Florida and also in Islands of Adventure Trading Company in Islands of Adventure. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to UniversalParksNewsToday.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Universal Parks News Today on YouTube for more great content, click the bell for notifications, and make sure to hit select all notifications so that you never miss an episode of News Today with Universal Parks News Today. For UPNT, this is Eric Morton saying the future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one.